Oh my goodness, it's going to be hard to come to after that great set. But again, we have another great set going in there. Pokepen, the random extraordinaire, the Bayonetta versus Tickle, the Panthera extraordinaire coming out of BC. Number three and number four from the regions respectively coming out to Sun and Saga to do another hype and intensive match to see who will get this prize spot. Because right now, if you win this game, you are in a unique game. A unique position to take this slot because who is waiting in winners finals for this? JDV. And he's already in. He's yep. already in. So now this could be it. This could be the set to see who goes into Cascadia. Actually, yeah. like 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 just just wild, just wild, wild happenings happening at Southern Saga. But let's get into this right now, oh, Nasta. What, what are we looking at? We're looking at a pretty <laughs> in favor game. For tickle right now, but uh, or in other way around. Oh my goodness, I am so sorry. Uh, <laughs> yeah, for Pokepen. Yeah, for Pokepen. <laughs> and oh, oh, and there we go. Ninety-three percent. And yeah, just right now, Pokepen doing a really good job maintaining his advantage, not losing too much of these situations in neutral. And tickle just needs to take this stock. Yeah, it's so easy. I think Bayonetta is one of those characters that's so easy to let run away with a lead because she's so good at getting early damage on a stock. She can struggle to kill sometimes, but when you're both in that situation where you're trying to get the kill move, it's a lot different than when one of you is trying to get a kill move and one of you is trying to rack up damage. And Pokepen will more than happily run away, just like this. Look how much damage he can rack up off of one interaction. And it's all of a sudden, all of a sudden, okay. you got to be careful. We saw this matchup earlier with Peace 2 versus Pokemon. The same thing. It's like Pithra is really, really good at just racking on that damage, right? And possibly getting those straight hits. But again, when you're playing against a good Bayo or Pokemon who knows literally everything, um, like, like, like it's, it, it's just crazy to think like, hey, I could die off one interaction, but it's a glass can. I could also kill the opponent in the, like, like out of nowhere, right? And that's, mm -hmm. that's one of those scenarios where it's like, okay, I go with the big sword, and the big sword's either going to work, or I'm going to cry and die, you know? Yeah, and it's it, just tough. And it probably helps out in this situation where Pokemon has some experience already today playing against uh, both Pyler and Mithra, where Tick, on the other hand, did he already run into Pokepen and Bracket? No. 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 So Ooh, just, did you see that kill, unless though? Unless you have that Bayonetta experience right now, you're kind of in the cold. He says he doesn't need that Bayonetta experience. He just gets some reads on those ledge get-up options. Pokepen all of a sudden on the back foot after You're so much dead. momentum. You're so dead. Again, put you in a bad spot as Pithra. Guess what? You're going straight to the blast zone, buddy. At the same time, though, I think Tickle is doing a tremendous job of fighting out of those situations. Very reminiscent of what we saw with Major, where you're like, oh, this is checkmate. It's Bayonetta offstage against Aegis. You're just dead. And somehow things with like the instant up B that he did on the first stock, just staying alive, has been a huge advantage. Absolutely. I mean, like, that's one of the things uh, like, that you got to think about. And Pokemon is doing a great job of, like, keeping up those jungle snares. He gets one hit with an up air, and it's like, okay, you're going for a major, major ride. And getting a one, two, three, not going to kill quite yet. And but getting that the back is... Air. You know what's also just, like, crazy about that whole thing is that at, at the same time that that was all going on, Pokemon was also conditioning Tickle at the exact same time. Absolutely. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's something that it's so easy to forget looking at these from the outside, what kind of conditioning and set play is occurring on the screen. Because we're just like, oh, he chose that option. He's just going to always choose that option. But that's the point he's trying to make. He can choose a different option later. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Absolutely. There's so many options to think about and to you know, have knowledge of. 1-0, pretty, pretty... Like, I wouldn't say... A dominating match, but I would say a pretty convincing game one coming from Pokepen's side. I mean, Pokemon doing a pretty good job of keeping up those gentle snares and just taking up damage into getting them into positions where getting back is just not an option for Tickle. Yeah, Ooh. absolutely. And now Pokepen trying to remind us of how good he is at racking up that early damage with this character, putting Tickle in a bad spot. But again, Tickle found the way through. Absolutely. Hey. Getting a couple of those witch trists to put on a little bit more damage. But oh, watch again. Out. Oh! Again. Whoa! What a again, witch time. Again. What's going on with all these witch times, Pokemon? DLC oh, my mechanics. If this, I haven't seen that since 2004. If What's this going was on? Salem, uh, like Massachusetts, <laughs> oh my goodness, Pokemon would be saying witch, witch, witch. <laughs> oh my goodness, that back air coming out. And but the again, trade. Uh, 
It's a little bit of a DBC, Ooh. but that Nair is going to do a lot of damage. Pretty tough. The gun's coming out. Barely. barely. Just barely, just barely getting back onto stage. And that is not good. Let's see forward throw. Not much you can do even with the DI mix ups there. I feel like you can just react at that oh point. Oh my goodness. But that's absolutely huge. I don't think yeah. he can make it back after that. No, not a no. chance. Maybe uh, maybe if there was a swap into a side view, but even then, Pokemon's doing a really good job of calling it out and not letting that happen. And it's also going to lead to Tickle being scared of it in this. Uh, in the future, right? We saw scenarios where Pokemon would just cancel Gun to condition him to jump high, go for a high recovery, so he could just catch him with another aerial. Absolutely, right there, the side B doing a little bit more damage for pick for pickle for tickle. You know, um, speaking it, of tickle, tickle has come back in this game so well. Very reminiscent of what we saw in the first game, actually, where Pokepen looked took that first stock and looked like he had an advantage, and then all of a sudden, tickle swung it all the way back. However, we're starting to see a little bit of what we saw in that first game again, where Pokepen just keeps swinging it in his favor with these key moments. Oh, and Nabla catch with the back air, closing out that stock, helping Pokepen secure his lead. Goes for the witch time there. I like the idea from Pokepen, but he pays for it with his life. Absolutely, a little bit of life challenging decisions to be made right here. Pokepen, again, taking on a little bit more damage, but you need to get a little bit more off this Witch Trist to take a stock really soon. Because, oh, that's oh, it. Oh, no, that's oh, is that, that's oh, it. Oh, it's okay. Somehow, we got those magnet hands. We're playing Smash 4 right now. Somehow saving, saving up that jump to get back to stage. Again, really hard to get back into getting back to stage in that stereo. So good on Tickle to even get back to stage and then keeping it seriously still like like close okay this Don't is such a scary a scary situation for uh well now it's scary for Tickle. oh right that's no. in the set right there try to do some type of witch or the witch time hey that's the bayo classic we, we take those we every that since 2013 <laughs> you know every yeah. bayonetta it is in their dna they must sd once per cent but the thing yeah. is right because if you're trying to get bats in that scenario wouldn't you be stuck in too much end line to yeah be able to i don't recover? know what was i i think it must have just been in miss him mean, my man was cooking something but i think he had the wrong recipe on that one absolutely a little bit of a tough snare right there small battlefield that we're getting into at the moment right um a little bit of a bracket update biggie mouth took it over Sparkle 3-0. So now, all of the players that are still in contention to qualify are these two individuals right here, Tickle and Pokepen. Machu, Mystery Soul, winner plays Major, and then the loser of this will play Big Mouth. So in total, Major, Biggie Mouth, Machu, Mystery Soul, Tickle, and Pokepen are all in contention for that Sundown Saga spot. spot. And I can't wait to see what happens. I can't wait set. to see it too. We'll be here for it. And right now we're here for this game three of Tickle versus Pokeben. And already we're seeing some similar scenarios where we're seeing just Pokeben get so much damage from these combos. But can Tickle get back? Looks like he can in this case. Once again, using a mix-up auction that Pokeben wasn't ready for. We've seen so much of that beautiful play from Tickle. And that's all it takes. That's why the matchup's not like impossible for Tickle. It looks so bad for Tickle until he gets that one hit. Absolutely, that's the one good thing about this matchup is that at any time that you need to get back to stage and you get anywhere close, hey, throw your side B as Pyra. What the hell are they going to do, right? Um, they have to shield it, so you get back to stage basically for free. That shield is is is, is working so goddamn much. I want to see some type of witch time or something to counter it, but hasn't happened for Pokemon as of right now. Oh, Ooh, the jab scenario! Oh! And that's you did. it! That's it right there. And the best part about that right there, that also took a jump. It didn't matter if he didn't finish it off. It was over. It was Jover straight up. After <laughs> oh, that. but wait a minute. Oh, oh. but the bats. Oh, the oh, bats. Oh, the bats. Says that's my frame type, my guy. I got that frame one air dodge, and he is using it. Absolutely. I mean, you got to. You got to use it to fruition, especially in these jumping snares versus Tickle. What he is so, so damn good at is it, it, it's just... It's just finishing off those. Oh, oh that's you're dead. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, you're not. Hey. Making liars out of us. Beautiful <laughs> DI from Pokemon. I, I didn't say nothing. I don't know. Yeah, I, don't, yeah, that, I can't <laughs> believe Nasta thought that was going to kill. Uh, yeah. I said oh, I was going to kill. I feel like a fool with my pants on the ground. <laughs> 
a little bit more happening right here for Pickle, trying to get a little bit more damage on and try to finish out the game. Pokemon is in a is in a pretty bad spot right now, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, you are down a whole stock and you have to keep this up. Keep up oh. this Switch Twist, not gonna get a kill quite that yet. The one, two, three into the back here, gonna do a little bit oh, of this guns. is the opportunity. Maybe. Push him away. Oh. Great job. Just overextended too and much. That's <gasps> it right there. Oh, that's the it right double. there. That's Down it air. right there going in the game four. It's <laughs> like it's like every single time Pokemon, you think that 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 you are getting those one, two, three, bear, boom, witch twist, boom, ABK, doing all of this crazy barrel stuff. Guess what? This big stupid flame sword <laughs> is gonna knock bro, you bro the fuck said, out. Yeah, you teched it, you think you're safe, not just yet tech it again. <laughs> it's so good, especially when those plats are there, dude. Oh, Ugh, fuck. You know, there's not much to do. Not much to do. I see Pokepen changes characters or sticks with the Bayo. Chooses to hey, stay the with the Bayo. Bayo has been doing really well here at Sundown Saga. I, I feel like it would be kind of irresponsible to go with another character pick, but this is Pokepen we're talking about. Yeah, that's the thing. Pokepen only plays play one character. <laughs> Only yeah. plays one character. Such a character specialist here. Honestly, making it look like he's a character specialist with some of these options. Mm -hmm. But I that's mean, just like the Pokepen. He's so good at the fundamentals oh, of the game. Trying to do some type of like, of oh, footstool combo, but no, it's not going to kill just quite that yet. That's one thing the Tickle is, is, is very, very, very good at. Is just, it's just being like, okay, I got the one straight hit. I need to stay in advantage and keep my left control and then see where my options lie. And, uh, and again, again, he gets those options right there. Tickle takes that stock with ease. Oh, oh the conversion. Oh, oh, he got no. too greedy. Oh, so and that, you can't get greedy when you're stuck down. That's so unfortunate. Pokepen can bring this back. We've seen it before, but that is a really rough situation to put himself in so early in the game. Oh, but getting that that's versus it, the That's guns, it. That's it. That's death. Yeah, yeah. Again, like like uh, the Bayo Classic SD, it, it, it sucks because like if you do one thing wrong, guess what? That's your stock, you know? And it's tough because like you need to keep doing that if you want to have your advantage and to win these sets. You're trying to get happen. that time there. Oh, he oh, was able sure. to do that on the down tilt. Now has that stage control. Great use of that air dodge there from Tickle. Yeah, Tickle reminded us that he's got an even better bats within with that is, one. Is it even that much better? I mean, it slows down your opponent and you don't take any damage. Oh, I, I guess Whereas that's true. bats within is admittedly a frame faster. However, uh, he still oh, takes that, that damage. Oh no, that whiff grab, that actually sucks. That would have put him in a great position to come back in the. But now we're going back in neutral and we know how that goes against Tickle. Winning neutral against Tickle is so damn hard. Doing his most. Gain a, a little back air. Doing oh, the guns. Yeah, you're, uh, See you, man. Goodbye. goodbye. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But now we're seeing the. Welcome back to the even game. We're seeing a scenario where Pokemon can come back with like a, a little bit of. A oh, oh you know, this is time? your opportunity. One, two, three. Oh. Didn't get the extension with the up tilt, though. It's Seven too percent. Slow. Oh, but he still got this combo oh, yeah, going. Oh, 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 okay. Taking him Break off the, the top. Two, three. Three. Tickle Pokemon, wow, the one, two, three, <laughs> and now we skip the four and go straight to game five. Wow. Wait, hold on a hey, second. Wait, wait, wait a minute. You got wait, hang on. Check, check this up. Check this up. Check this up.